We are all gathered here this afternoon to bring a message of peace. Yesterday, Friday, was International Peace Day, but we have extended it to be a weekend of celebrating, promoting, expressing peace, but not just for the weekend, but forever. Eternal peace on this planet. I'm so glad each one of you is here to join in. We are here at the National Museum of the American Indian at the Smithsonian Institution. And the mission, the vision of this museum is the spirituality, the promotion of peace, and the worship of the elements. So we could not have asked for a better, more appropriate venue to do our two-day symposium. The symposium will start at one o'clock in the Rasmussen Theater, and the title is Sufism at the Smithsonian, Searching for the Divine Through the Arts. And as the title says, we will use all the arts to convey, express, celebrate a common message of peace, love, and harmony. So please do join us for the next two days. The, our Ney player and the Dervish dancers will be back again for another performance at 12 noon tomorrow, being Sunday. For our segment now, I would like to thank, I would like to thank the Embassy of Turkey and especially the Office of Tourism and Culture here in Washington, D.C. And they have all worked incessantly for over a year to bring this group of dervishes from Istanbul. And it is a rare, rare opportunity for us Washingtonians. And I thank them for this. Thank you. The two-day symposium is a collaboration of the Embassy of India, Embassy of Pakistan. In fact, way beyond embassies, it's all of us coming together on one platform, one voice of peace, love, and harmony. And now to take us right into this segment, I would like to present Dr. Talat Halman. He is the professor at Bilkent University in Ankara, you mention his name to anybody and it rings all sorts of bells. He's a poet, a translator. He has written extensively books, articles. I wouldn't, I'd be here all day giving a whole list of those. A scholar and above all, a great humanist. And we are so, so privileged and so honored to have him here in this museum and at the Smithsonian as part of the symposium. Please welcome Dr. Talat Halman. Hey, hey. What is this whirling of ours? A greeting from the inmost friends of the heart. When their messages arrive, they give the weary of soul vigor and comfort. Caught in the wind, the mind's branches reach out and bloom all over again. One gentle flap and the body finds its peace. A strange sweetness never felt before spreads through the flesh and the mouth revels in the luscious taste of the reed flute and the player's lips. Let the whirling run wild and take flight. You are life added to the life of the whirling ecstasy. You are the glittering joy of the age. Come, but don't join us without your music. We have a celebration here. Rise and beat the drums. This is the night of the Sama when we whirl to ecstasy. There is light now. There is light. There is light. This is true love, which means farewell to the mind. This is Farewell, there is farewell today, farewell. Tonight, each flaming heart is a friend of music. Longing for your lips, my heart pours out of its mouth. Hush, 
You are made of feeling and thought and passion. The rest is nothing but flesh and bone. We are the soul of the world, not heavy or sagging like the body. We are the spirit's treasure, not bound to this earth, to time or space. Love is our mother. We were born of love. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sema, often called the Ayin Sharif, which means the blessed ceremony, is an aesthetic sight and experience, as well as the soul's passionate thrust. Here we are going to witness an abbreviated ceremony of the whirling dervishes of Istanbul and Konya. They came courtesy of the Ministry of Culture and Tourism of Turkey. The whirling, which most dervishes do not consider a form of dance, has some of the attributes of a Dionysian ritual with its roots in Anatolian culture. Its antecedents run also in the ancient Turkish shamanistic dances of Central Asia. When the dervishes start to whirl rhythmically here, as they will in just a couple of minutes, their figures, robed in the spare and impeccable white tunics they wear, with flying skirts, are dynamic and dignified, like living statues. Each motion they make, each gesture, has a divine significance. The sudden turns are an attempt to see God in all directions. Thumping the ground symbolizes trampling crass selfhood, crushing egotism. It symbolizes trampling crass selfhood and the desire to soar towards the supreme world. Genflection is the ultimate expression of abandoning one's soul to God, opening the arms to the sides as they do very often during their whirling is the aspiration to spiritual excellence, the soul's balance, union with God, and eternal bliss. The right arm points heavenward, goes up to the sky, to God, and the left arm down the earth. This way, the whirling dervish expresses his faith in the world as well as his dream of the beloved providence. The symbolism has been articulated as follows. We receive from God. We don't keep anything in ourselves. We don't want to possess anything. We cannot keep any possessions. We soar to the sky. We pour on the ground. Our souls are on the way to God's mercy. Although essentially a dithyrambic ritual, the Sema has no indignity, no obscenity, no dervish touches another during the entire process of whirling. Sensuality is a private privilege. The dance itself is communal, not solitary. In seeking ecstasy, each Sufi is an integral man, purifying his soul, summoning all his passions, having communion with God without any intermediaries, each man is a world unto himself. The mystic strives to arrive at a state of ecstasy which gives him a glimpse of God. According to the great mystic Rumi, whose poem I read at the very beginning, one must force and break down the mind's frontiers in order to witness love's ultimate power and to experience the majesty of God the Beloved. Joy within joy, the loved one tore down the gates of the mind. You are caught in the blissful ecstasy, revel in the night of God. Rumi expressed not only the thrusts of passion, but also the inner peace that emanates from the whirling. Sama is where the souls of lovers come to rest, to him who has another heart in his heart, it is known best. So here now is the Sama of the whirling dervishes.
Mikrofonun ses gelmiyor. Kesiliyor gidiyor. Kesiliyor gidiyor. Seni mikrofonu bana verdi. Bir şeyler yaptılar. İki mikrofon da yazıyorlar. İyi. Hı? Evet.
Thank you.